Plug Power has been through massive changes over the last couple of decades as a public company, but this time as the stock drops and the company's valuation now $1.6 billion as I'm recording, share price is under $3 per share. I think there's a real risk that the company is not going to survive in its current form. May need to restructure the business, meaning bankruptcy. Now, Plug Power has avoided that for a very long time for a simple reason. They didn't have a lot of debt on the balance sheet, but that has changed. And that may change the calculus for management and for investors over the next year or two or however long the company can survive with the current cash flow. So I'm going to get into some of the details of what the balance sheet looks like, what the cash flow statement looks like, and where Plug Power could be going in the future, because I don't think this ends well for investors. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they're going to give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. And let's start with a couple of charts, because I think this is telling about where Plug Power is today. The first is simply Plug Power's revenue and net income. And you can see that revenue has exploded over the last 10 years, $25 million in revenue in 2013, and that was up to $881 million over the past 12 months. But look at the bottom line here, the teal column. Not only is it negative over the past year, it has been negative since the company started. $949.9 million lost in the past 12 months. And there's just no signs that the company is making any sort of turnaround from the bottom line. If you look at their free cash flow, it's a similar story. The, fat, the more they grow, the more revenue they generate, the more money they lose. And the reason for that is there's not any segment of the business that's actually profitable. When they make a piece of hardware sale, they lose money on it. When they sell hydrogen, they lose money on that hydrogen. When they do services, they lose money on the services. This is an unsustainable business in every sense of the, of the word. But Plug Power has survived and grown in this exact environment for a long time. And the reason for that is that they've been able to sell stock. This is one of the most interesting charts of Plug Power. And you can see this goes back to 2013. But if you go back to when the company IPO'd, the story is the same. Stock sales have funded the company's operations for years. 76.4 million shares outstanding in 2013. That is up to 591.1 million in the past 12 months. Not only have they been selling stock in the open market, Plug Power has been using stock as an incentive for companies to partner with them, to buy products from them. When Walmart and Amazon bought hydrogen units to retrofit their forklifts, Plug Power gave them warrants to buy stock, basically gave them upside just to become a customer. When the stock went up, they were able to sell those warrants at a profit. Great deal if you're the customer, terrible deal if you're Plug Power, because long term, now you have more shares outstanding and you have a customer that expects a deal. Those customers have not proven to be profitable. That's the other thing. If you're, if you're paying customers to actually become a customer, you want to make sure that each of those customers is incrementally profitable. That has not been the case at Plug Power ever. So those share sales were really important with the company's just sheer survival. And I think that's something that we can't overlook over the past decade, is that without those share sales, Plug Power already would have had to refinance itself, but it hasn't. Now, what's changed over the past six or seven years is Plug Power started to take data. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. This is a look at Plug Power's debt. The teal column is long-term debt, and then the dark blue column is the current portion of long-term debt. So that's debt that's due within the next year. And you can see that this has gone from essentially zero in 2014 all the way up to over $550 million in the most recent quarter. That is just a tremendous amount of growth in the amount of debt that you have in a company. And what debt does is it puts a different obligation on the business and on shareholders. When you go through restructuring, debt has to get paid off first. Debt also requires an interest payment. So if you have to pay out interest, but you're not generating cash flow from the business, well, where does that cash come from? It comes from stock sales. If investors know that your stock sales are just going to go to pay off debt, they're not inclined to give you the benefit of the doubt from a stock price. This is why startups don't take on debt oftentimes, but Plug Power has, and it has to be able to pay down this debt with the cash from operations. Otherwise, it has to go back to the market 
and say, hey, we need more money by selling more stock just to pay down the debt that's already in the balance sheet. And I think this is why the stock continues to slide. This is a confidence business. And as we get to the point where Plug Power is going to need more cash just to fund its existing operations and the projects that it's building out and trying to sell to investors and investing in electrolyzers and green hydrogen and all these things that are very exciting, they need cash to do that. And cash can only come from one of two places, selling more debt, which doesn't seem likely given the debt that's already on the balance sheet, or selling stock. And now we're talking about diluting shareholders to a level that I think is just simply unsustainable. And as the stock falls, selling stock becomes less and less attractive. Just think about it. If you have a $10 billion company and you need to raise a billion dollars, well, that's 10% dilution. If you have a $1 billion company and you need to raise a billion dollars, now that's 50% dilution. Now, even announcing that sort of a deal is going to cause your stock to, stock to drop dramatically. And it might not even be possible to complete that sort of a stock sale. Now think about the fact that over the past year, Plug Power's free cash flow is a negative $1.8 billion. They need $1.8 billion just to fund operations. The market cap of the company is $1.6 billion. And there's over $550 billion million dollars worth of debt on the balance sheet. So to fund operations for a year and pay down their debt, they would have to increase their shares outstanding by nearly 2x. That is the point that we're at with Plug Power. That's why this time is different. Previously, selling more stock just means that shareholders got diluted, but it didn't put more risk on the business. Now we have debt involved as well. And that puts Plug Power in a much, much more precarious position if it can't turn around its financial fortunes. And I don't see any evidence that that is the case today. I'm going to show one more chart here because I think this really shows the position that Plug Power is in. This is an annual chart. So the last columns on the right is the trailing 12 months. But this goes back to 2019. And this is the gross profit for each one of their segments. So purple is sales of fuel cell systems. So basically hardware sales. Green is going to be services. There's losses on contracts, which seems to be a recurring expense for the business. And then yellow is those power purchase agreements. And pink is fuel delivered to customers. The fuel losses are really the concerning one. And that's one, I think, when you start looking at their income statement, you got to wonder how they're selling fuel at a loss. I mean, how is that something that you do from a contractual basis? I could see selling a fuel cell system at break even and then saying, hey, we're going to make it up with margins for fuel sales. But when you're barely making any money on fuel cell sales, you can't then also sell fuel at a loss. And so plug power is just in dire straits in so many ways. And it doesn't seem like anything is going to turn that around anytime soon. They did give a big warning to investors saying that they may not be a going concern. That's the first step towards insolvency or some sort of bankruptcy or restructuring. And I think given the trajectory of the stock, if the stock keeps falling, the options for turning around the business and getting more cash flow just get just dwindle by the day. And that's just the reality of the business that they're in. So I think the biggest problem for Plug Power right now is the debt that they've taken on over the last six or seven years. That's going to be what ends up leading to the company's demise. But this has likely been coming for a very long time because Plug Power has not been a money-making business. And you have to be a going concern to be a good investment. But what do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.